Hey guys, it's me, Kayla with the Curls, and it is Wisdom Wednesday. Every week I pop on while I make my morning coffee and I drop you a cute little nugget to help improve your life right away. I'm actually heading home today, so I'm not working, but I know you guys expect me on Wednesday and it's important for me to be consistent and to show up for my viewers when you are expecting me. Um, so today's Wisdom Wednesday word is to learn to recognize when a phase, a job, a relationship, or a life stage is over, or it's like it's run its course with you, and exit gracefully. Exit gracefully. Like, I don't know why we feel like every single time that we move on from something or from someone or from some job, that it has to be this huge, dramatic catastrophe, like, cue the waterworks, I have to hold on with everything that I have. If something is no longer serving you, recognize it. And, and learn to exit gracefully. It is okay to simply say, you know, I'm not aligned with that anymore and to move on. Um, there's no badge. Nobody gets a badge for doing it the longest, for holding on the hardest. Like you cannot get time back. You can make more money, but time is your most valuable asset. Like you can waste my money and I'm gonna be irritated with you because money is like, stuff's high right now, right? But when you waste my time, that, infuriates me because it's something that you just simply cannot get back and so today i just encourage you to kind of look over your life think about the things that you're doing right now and is there any part any aspect whether that's a job a relationship a life stage something that you love something that you do hey Britt, how are you is it still serving you and if it's not still serving you exit gracefully you can say hey i'm not going to do this again next year maybe you're coaching the team and you loved coaching the team for years and now you're ready to transition great leaders that's something that we learned in the fdr period right he was the president forever ever however after that presidency we learned go after two terms we gotta let them go so we can raise up the next leader and so think about it that way the longer that you stay in a situation that you're not happy in or something that no longer serves you, you are blocking the next version of whatever is coming for you or you're stopping the next leader from getting the development that they need. And that's unfair because you can hang around and ghost and coach, but if you're in the seat, then they can't learn. I like to think of it like you're taking your kids to Disneyland, but on the way you stop at McDonald's and they're in the play place and they're like, ah, oh, no, I don't want to go. That's because they have no idea what's in store for them. So the version or whatever is coming is bigger than what you have. You just have to learn to let go of what you already are, you are doing. So I love you guys so very much. If you're watching, say hey. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. Share with a friend. Give me a follow. I'm here every single Wednesday hyping up your life. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.